In this video, we'll cover all the basics of customizing the DX form widget. A form widget is used to display and edit values of object fields. It creates label editor pairs for the required fields of the specified object, which allows a user to view and edit values of these fields. Like any widget from the Web App JS library, the DX form widget can be added using the jQuery, AngularJS, or Knockout approach. Here, I'm using the jQuery approach. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries. I've also referenced Web App JS styles that correspond to the light theme. Now we need to add the DX form widget onto a page and set up a data source for it. I've already prepared an array of objects representing employees' information. Let's assign the first item of this array to the widget's form data configuration option. And let's see how DX form renders items for the specified data. As you can see, each item shows the name and text from a data source field to which this item is bound. Let's rearrange the displayed items and group them by overall information. To do this, I'll assign an array of specified items to the items option. Here is a group form section consisting of a caption and child form items. I can customize the layout options for each group separately. The item type option specifies the type of the current item. The option accepts simple, group, tabbed, and empty values. By default, item type is simple. The items option holds an array of form items displayed within the group. Like the items option of the DX form widget, an array passed to the items field of a group item can hold items of the simple, group, tabbed, and empty types. The caption option specifies a group caption. Each tab of a tabbed item contains an array of tab configuration objects. The title option specifies the tab title. The items option holds an array of form items displayed within tabs. I can also specify custom options for a separate editor. Here's a name of the data source field containing data for the DX form field and the type of the created editor. I'll also change the number of displayed columns. To do this, I'll define the column count option. Now let's see the result. Data is shown in two columns, and while some data is grouped by overall information, other data is put into tabs. Let's stretch the tabs with contact information according to the form size. To do this, I set the column span option to two, and let's take a look at the result. Next, add a select box on a page to see how to re-render the DX form with different data at runtime. To do this, I'll bind the DX select box to the same data source to which the DX form is bound. I'll handle the DX select box on value changed event and change the form's form data option based on the DX select box selected value. And let's see how this works. I select the value and the DX form re-renders all items corresponding to the new form data. And that's it. To learn more about elements of the DX form widget and how to customize it, please refer to the corresponding documentation on our website. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.